Hey, what's going on everyone? Greg here, and yes, top-down setup because here it is. iOS 16 is out in beta form. Now, even though there are a lot of features in iOS 16, I think probably the most popular feature when this is finally released in the public uh, in September is going to be the lock screen, uh, the new lock screen and the new customization with the lock screen. So for this video, I wanna go over um, all the different customizations you can now do with your lock screen, the new widget feature, and kind of just showcase some of my favorite ones that I've been playing around with so far in the iOS 16 beta. All right, so to start customizing your lock screen, all you have to do is kind of long press over here on your lock screen, and you will see that it kind of goes up into this uh, kind of card view, kind of like multitasking. And you'll see that there's a customize button, there's a plus button, and there's also a few other uh, lock screens I already set up here that you can kind of just swipe through and see. But let's go ahead and just add a new one to start with. Oh boy, look at Fat Greg. Yes, I used to be a lot heavier back in the day. Uh, apparently, uh, iOS wants to remind me of that. But yes, we can use suggested photos as our lock screen. I think this one looks a little bit better, although he's kind of looking a little weird to me. Uh, you can all see there's this nice little time effect. It actually doesn't work too well with this photo. Uh, my hair's covering the time quite a bit there. But you can see the time kind of goes uh, behind the subject, kind of creating a depth effect. Uh, but you can also change some other settings like black and white. Uh, but I much prefer not to use my own face as a wallpaper. Uh, I like to use some of the default wallpaper. So you can see there's a cool one right here called Weather. There's ones called Collections, which is kind of like that abstract artwork that Apple has. There's Astronomy. That one's a really cool one. Emoji, Color. There's a new Pride. Uh, really, really colorful uh, wallpaper in this collection as well. Uh, but let's go ahead and do the weather one. Let's check that out first, because this is one that I think a lot of people will probably end up using. Uh, the weather lock screen uh, just has really nice animations to it, just like the weather app. So you can see that once we do that, um, there's a couple different options here for your lock screen now. So if you go up here, you could see there's the time, the date, and the weather conditions. Now you can actually tap this and change this as well. So maybe you don't care about the weather. Maybe you're really into fitness. You want your activity to be front and center. Well, you can change that up there as well. You can get all your calorie information and uh, how much exercise you've done and your stand ring. But then you can also go into this time area. And look, uh, this is a lot of customization for an iOS phone. Um, for an iPhone, I should say, you can change the font of the time. You have never been able to do that before. That was actually pretty surprising to me that Apple would let you do that. They're usually really sticklers about their design uh, for all their operating systems. So the fact that they're letting you change font on the time, even if it is just a couple different options, I think was a pretty big step forward. Um, so you can change the fonts like that, and you can also change the colors. So you can go to blue, you can change the kind of saturation of the blue. Uh, and then all these other colors as well. You can kind of do the same thing. So if I want to go GadgetCast purple, uh, I can go GadgetCast purple. That's my podcast with Travis MCP. Uh, links in the description, check it out. But you can see there's a lot of different customization here, right? You can go pretty in depth with, with the color pickers over here. And yeah, this, this is an insane amount of customization. I don't know if you can tell that I'm excited about this, but uh, I think uh, when this thing finally launches, when this is available to the public on iOS 16, uh, people are going to go crazy with the amount of customization that uh, they're going to do on their lock screen. I think it's only going to increase uh, as we see future betas and then, of course, tying it into third-party apps and third-party widgets as well. Speaking of widgets, let's back out of this color section for a little bit and let's talk a little bit more about these widgets on the lock screen. So here you can see that we have um, different widgets in different sizes. So let's go ahead and remove all of them so we can kind of re-customize it from the start. So you can see the first one here is weather. Now, uh, I haven't really figured out if there's a way to size these different widgets. Let me go ahead and click on here. Okay, so there is. So if you click on weather, you can see that there's a bunch of different options. So here's air quality, here's the conditions, moon events, rain chance, sun events. I don't, what's a sun event? I guess like uh, sun setting. Uh, temperature, that's a good one to have. The UV index, I'm really pasty, so that is excellent for me. And then wind. It's very windy out there. The winds have been increasing Tremendously. I don't know if you've noticed that. It's been very, very windy, so it might be useful to have the wind uh, as your little um, widget on the lock screen. But I like this one. This gives you a pretty good overview. It's a bigger one, so you can see that there's kind of uh, room for four of these, I believe, four max. And this one will take up two of the widget section. So we're going to add that one. And then 
I'm a stocks guy, right? I wanna see how well Apple's doing. Apple needs to make money, right? So let's add the Apple stock over there. Looks like they're up today. And uh, yeah, fitness, I need fitness. I'm always looking to burn calories. Now let's see, can I add the big one? No. So again, you can only have four uh, widgets in there of the smaller size. And then if you have one big widget and then one smaller widget, you can't add the bigger widget. So you're gonna have to go for the smaller widget. And you can see that takes up the four spaces right there. And once again, all the different options for widgets. But hey, these are all the widget sections right now. But hey, this was just the weather lock screen. There's more to explore here. So let's go ahead and back out of this. Uh, and let's go ahead and add another one. Like I said, there's a lot of different options right over here. Um, you can see on the top, you have people, photos. You can do a photo shuffle. You can do emoji, weather, astronomy, color. Now let's go to that astronomy one because that was one of my favorite ones uh, that they showed off during the keynote. So here you can see again, right? You get a blank slate. Uh, you get the time once again. You can change the font on this. Again, we can go ahead and change the color. Uh, let's go ahead and let's go red. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Okay, so you can make that red. Uh, we need a couple widgets up here. Let's go for fitness. Let's do the battery. And you'll see that the widgets as well correspond to the color uh, that you selected. So you can add all these different widgets once again. And... Here we get, here you go, another lock screen. Now this one has a lot more options to choose from for this lock screen. So we have our widget set up, we have the time set up, but look, if you swipe over here, you can see that we have a nice view of Earth, but you can change that. So you can get into uh, more of the Earth's detail. If you swipe over again, you can see we have a moon detail. If you swipe there again, that zooms in on the moon. And then we also get the entire solar system. Uh, so you can see that as well. But uh, as you can see, sadly, it doesn't look like Pluto is included. So justice for Pluto, I believe it's still a planet. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to the Earth one. I think that's probably the coolest one. So one of the reasons I really like this lock screen, and you'll see that this kind of, right now at least, it is corresponding to your lock screen as well as your wallpaper. And now when I swipe up, see that transition there? That is really smooth. That is really slick. That is a really nice implementation of these lock screens and these wallpapers. Really makes the system feel alive, really makes it feel playful. So let's do that again. You're gonna see that, you're gonna swipe up, and that transition is beautiful. I love that transition uh, on iOS 16 with some of these uh, custom lock screens and wallpapers. That is just really slick. Let's go ahead and change this again. We can do Earth Detail first. Uh, and you can see over here. This does change to time of day as well, so if it was night, you would see the uh, Earth at night. You would see all the different lights and stuff like that too. So that is really a nice implementation. Again, swipe up and you can see it's a, it's a little less pronounced on that one uh, with the Earth detail. It doesn't quite do as much of a, you know, kind of zoom down, but you can see a nice little transition there. Uh, let's go back. Do this again. And I don't want to go through all of them. Let's go ahead through the moon. And you can see when you when we swipe up from this, it does the same thing where the moon moves down. Let me just check out the solar system. I haven't really seen what that one does yet. So we scroll over to the solar system. Have that down. And then when we swipe up, well, that just stays there. So that's kind of boring. So let's go ahead and make another one. Now, I can't run through every single one here, but let's try and hit some of the important ones. Um, the collections one obviously just kind of gives you, uh, you know, you can have the time hide behind this, which is kind of cool. You can see that again. We don't have to go through widgets again, but um, there are other things we can do. Like we can disable the depth effect, which will put the time right there in case you didn't like that effect. Or you can enable the zoom perspective. Now you can also add a new wallpaper by going all the way over here, tapping this. And um, let's do the emoji one. I thought that one was pretty cool. I think a lot of people will try this one out. So here you can see we have a bunch of different emoji. Um, it's pre-selected right now, but you can actually go in and edit this to pretty much any emoji you want. So uh, let's say uh, sushi is always good. Let's put some sushi emoji, uh, put some other food down, get everyone really, really hungry, get a dumpling in there. Let's put an ice cream in there. I like ice cream, why not? So there is the uh, sushi bento dumpling ice cream emoji wallpaper, uh, courtesy of Greg's Gadgets. Um, so you can also go in and edit the background as well for this one and you can change that to again any other kind of color you want you can go uh, Slide that around make it more saturated 
make it less saturated. Hit the color picker. You can change the opacity of it. You can turn it into a gradient. You can add default colors. Um, and then you have the spectrum, you have the sliders, you have the grid to change all these colors. I mean, this is kind of redundant at this point, but you can hopefully get a glimpse of just how much you can customize uh, these different wallpapers with these different settings. And you can kind of make it how you want on your lock screen. Here's another one, here's the color one. This one is cool because you can have different tones. You can, so you can have it like this, you can have it vibrant, you can go deep, vapor, bright, solid. I kind of like the vapor look. And then again, change that color to however you want. This one gives you a really nice gradient, a very minimalist kind of wallpaper. And you kind of get an idea of how you can start customizing these wallpapers. Now there are just so many different ways to customize this lock screen at this point. Uh, but I do want to tackle at least one more. Uh, this one's the photo shuffle. Again, I think this one is going to be popular with a lot of people because you can keep having the lock screen change. So for this one, uh, you can see we can get the select the photos for the World Trade Center. You can see this is where I did my iPhone 13 mini video. We're just going to select a couple of these photos. And we're going to hit add. And so again, Love that visual effect with the architecture. That is that is really nice. So if you hit, you can tap and you can shuffle. And these will apparently shuffle uh, throughout, the, throughout the day. So we're gonna hit done there. It's gonna save. And let's try it out. So we're gonna go like that. Let's swipe to open. Let's see if we get it to change at all. I don't know when it's supposed to change. I don't know if it's like time of day. It doesn't seem to be doing it constantly, but hopefully this wallpaper does change. Hopefully Apple isn't lying when they say uh, that this would change the wallpaper. It is a beta, so maybe it isn't working right now, or maybe I just have to wait a little bit longer, but we must move on. Um, so let's tackle one last thing, and that would be focus. So you can also have different lock screens tied to different focuses. So let's say you're at work. Um, I don't have a work one. Let's just say we're uh, I'm making videos, that's work. So let's say we're making videos and we wanna have like a professional wallpaper. Well, uh, the lock screen and that wallpaper will be tied to that focus. So if you're going to work, maybe you don't wanna have like, a, I don't know, something gory or something unsightly on your work lock screen if you don't want people to see it. Uh, but when you're at home, you can also change that. Or maybe if you're gaming, I don't know, you want to set like a gaming specific wallpaper. Uh, maybe if you have Do Not Disturb on, maybe you want a calming wallpaper. If you're having Korean barbecue, maybe you want to use the exclusive dumpling wallpaper that I showed you before. Maybe get some uh, kimchi on there, whatever. Listen, there's a lot of different focuses you can make. You can also go into focus settings and then change all this stuff. So you can have a different lock screen, maybe even a different wallpaper as the focus changes throughout the day. So really a lot of customization here, as you can see in iOS 16. Um, I feel like even though this video looks pretty long, I feel like, you know, it's, it's almost like scratching the surface of what you can do with these lock screens, especially as developers start to update their third party apps. You're just gonna see a lot more customization with what you can put on your lock screen and with the widget feature that um, these really are going to be personalized and pretty unique to a point where iOS customization has not really been before. Just wanted to let you know I left something out. Uh, I was just playing around with the settings. Wanted to come back and show you this. So apparently if you go into your wallpaper section and settings and then you tap on this, you also get even more options. So this has to do with kind of blurring. So the legibility blur is off, but you can turn it on and you can actually blur out that background. So that is really cool. You can actually just blur out any of the wallpaper backgrounds. And then of course you have even more settings there. So it looks like you can configure this uh, to change out the gradient here as well in the settings. Or then again, of course, go ahead and choose a photo. Another quick thing I should mention with the iOS 16 lock screen, even though this doesn't have anything to do with customization, is just notifications have moved now. So when you get a new notification, it actually pops up from the bottom and then you actually move up like this to reach your notifications rather than pulling from down here. So that is a new change with iOS 16 beta one. 
Uh, and that is how you now access your notifications and how they come through on the lock screen. And that wraps it up. iOS 16 lock screen and wallpaper tutorial. Um, let me know what you think about it so far. Uh, if you like this video, let me know as well. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a, another dedicated iOS 16 video, but if you like this one, maybe I will do a video going over even more of the features, but I really wanted to just do a dedicated one covering this lock screen because I think this is going to be one of the most used features for iOS 16 and one that pretty much everyone can appreciate. So if you like the video, give me a like. If you want to see more, uh, subscribe and also let me know in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great day and I'll probably see you in the next video pretty soon because we got a lot to cover.